Vietnamese ambassador to Russia Đặng Minh Khôi on behalf of the state president of Vietnam on November 7 present a friendship order to governor of St. Petersburg Alexander Beclo in recognition of his contributions to and tireless efforts in maintaining and promoting relations between St. Petersburg and Vietnam, in particular and enhancing the Vietnam-Russia comprehensive strategic partnership. Vietnamese ambassador to Russia, Dang Minh Khoi, noted that St. Petersburg is one of Russia's leading localities in cooperation with Vietnamese provinces. He thanked Governor of St. Petersburg, Alexander Beglo, for his contribution to the development of cooperation in many fields, including culture, education and science. Beglo pledged that St. Petersburg will make further contributions to the Vietnam-Russia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership on November the 8th. Ambassador Dang Minh Khoi also handed over another friendship order to the Ho Chi Minh Institute under the St. Petersburg State University. Lion Dance Folk Melodies, Dong Ho Folk Painting and Cuisines were featured at Vietnamese Cultural Night at UNESCO headquarters in Paris, France on Monday. The event held by the permanent delegation of Vietnam to UNESCO ahead of the 42nd session of UNESCO's General Conference drew nearly 200 ambassadors and foreign representatives. Vietnamese Deputy Foreign Minister Ha Kim Ngoc said this was an opportunity for Vietnam and UNESCO to promote heritage and culture for sustainable development and self-reliance and proves that this bilateral cooperation has become a role model for other programs around the world, now set by running for a seat on the World Heritage Committee for the 2023-2027 tenure. Vietnam is reiterating its commitment to preserving its cultural heritage and contributing more to UNESCO. Saint Tzu, UNESCO Deputy Director General, said that the event helped promote the diversity of Vietnam's intangible cultural heritage to the world. Vietnam sent over 132,000 workers abroad to work under contract over the last 10 months of 2023, reaching 120% of the target set for the whole year. Of the 132,000 exported workers, 44,669 were female, according to the Department of Overseas Labor under the Ministry of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs. During the revealed period, Japan remained the leading importer of, of Vietnamese manpower with more than 67,000 workers. It was followed by Taiwan, the Republic of Korea and China. Over one million Vietnamese have gone abroad to work since 2012, bringing home about 10 billion US dollars each year. The number of guest workers increased by 7 to 10 percent annually. Condé Nast Traveler, a luxury and lifestyle travel magazine, has the name Hat Long Bay on its list of the 51st most beautiful place in the world. The magazine said the bay is beloved for its blue water and spread of limestone islands, all occupied by tropical trees and wildlife. It suggests that visitors bought a sailing ship to experience the beauty and associated myth and story of the mid surrounded Emirat basins. The People Committee of the Mekong Delta Province of Dong Thap has approved a project to conserve red crown cranes in the Cham Chim National Park in a 10-year period with an estimated total budget of nearly 7.6 million US dollars. The conservation project will focus on receiving, caring, studying, and reintroducing red crown cranes improving and restoring their ecosystem and habitats, developing sustainable ecological agricultural production models, and investing in infrastructure and facilities. The project is expected to play a crucial role in preserving the population of the birds in the Mekong Delta region, which is facing the risk of extinction. Tram Chim National Park is famous as a natural habitat for the large East Asian red-crowned cranes, among the rarest in the world, and classified as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. 
Lao Chai commune in Mu Kang Chai district in Bai province is renowned in the north uh, western regions for its stunning terrace rice field. Over the recent years, with uh, uh, improvements in the transport link, Lao Chai has emerged as a popular destination and attracts a significant number of visitors, especially on weekends. The Hu Chu Lim Terrace rice fields over 10 kilometers from the center of Lao Chai commune captivate tourists from all over with a majestic and untouched natural beauty. Despite the difficult driving conditions, many tourists choose to visit the fields during the ripened rice season. Lao Chai boasts nearly 700 hectares of terrace rice fields scattered across villages such as Lao Chai, Ta Geng, and Hu Chu Lim. Every year, about 2,000 tourists visit Lao Chai to immerse themselves in the local way of life. Recognizing its potential, the local government has initiated efforts to promote community-based tourism. Mu Kang Chai won global recognition when it was included on a list of the 50 most beautiful places in the world in 2020 by Big 7 Travel. Its popularity continues to soar with nearly 250,000 tourists visiting in the first nine months of this year alone, the local tourism sector has flourished, generating more than 10 million U.S. dollars in revenue.